bright day for Columbus. I'm Doug Adair. Thousands of new jobs on the horizon here. And just north of us in Delaware County, unemployment has fallen to less than 7%. But just north of Delaware in Marion County, where the jobless rate is already more than twice as high. Tecumseh Products is closing down in the city of Marion. 600 people will lose their jobs sometime this year. 800 others who'd already been laid off. The company says that it's because of all of the damage that was caused by last summer's violent strike there and also the competition in the refrigeration industry. Our Mike Brown is just back from Marion tonight and says it's too bad because the city was just coming back. That's right, Mona. It is very ironic. You look at some of the success that Marion has had just recently. Examples, Eaton, American Malibu, uh, Marion Power Shovel, all corporations, companies in Marion, which hire thousands of people who had hundreds of layoffs, and they're starting to bring them back in now. It seems that recovery is finally on its way back to Marion. Then today, the Tecumseh announce, uh, announcement is official, and it's setting the city and hundreds of its residents back quite a ways. It's a difficult thing to know you're going to lose your job, even tougher when you don't know when. Everybody's very unhappy right now. I think everybody's on edge. They really don't know what to expect. 700 Tecumseh workers found out in a letter that their plant will close sometime this year. Those on layoff still will find out the same way you're hearing it tonight. The reasons? Too much foreign competition and too many headaches from a strike this summer which caused, says the company, uncontrollable violence and extensive damage. The total of those damages exceeded $100,000. According to the letter, this plant in Marion and the people who work inside are quote-unquote expendable. Well, the city of Marion can't expend anyone, and it is likely going to cause an increase in the unemployment rate as well as additional financial problems for the city itself. Fewer jobs means fewer taxpayers in a city which has been struggling for more than a year just to make ends meet. Thousands of industrial workers are still on layoff, and unemployment benefits are no longer much help. Because people run out of unemployment. We've got people who work here that's run out of employment quite a long ago. They're not counted anymore. So the official rate, or not no official, the unofficial rate would be closer to 30%. What will you do now? Probably look for a job somewhere else. Will that be tough to do in Marion? Yeah. Of course, it might not have been so tough if Honda had uh, chosen to build its plant in Marion, but of course that decision has been made and it probably won't end up in Marion. So it's going to stay hard on the unemployed. It's also going to stay tough on the city because voters refused again for the second time to vote in a tax increase. For all the good signs, Doug and Mona, it appears that the light at the end of Marion's tunnel is still tonight quite dim. Thank you, Mike. That's too bad. Governor Celeste is unveiling a new jobs plan, though. He wants to create a million new jobs by 1990 in our state to bring the unemployment...